Today we're going to be talking more about structures and programming with structures. Let's begin by recalling the structure and data definitions that we wrote last time. As we saw last time, by using the define struct form, we create a variety of operations that we can use to construct structures. Now we're going to list out each of these and talk about the signature of each one. For point, we get a total of four functions, three of which we saw before. The first one is called make point. Make point takes two inputs, which are numbers, and produces a point. The second operation is point-x. That retrieves the x-coordinate from a point. And because we know that the x-coordinate is a number, because we put that number in when we created it with make point, the signature for point x is that it takes in a point and produces a number. The signature for point y is exactly the same. There's one final function that we get automatically from our point structure definition, and that's point question mark, or as I'll pronounce it, point hunt. Make point of one and two is true. What a, but point question mark or point huh allows us to ask this of anything at all, not just of points. So we can say point huh of five or point huh of hello. And as you see, both of these are not points. So we get the answer false in each case. The signature for point huh, therefore, is something that takes in anything at all, which I will write anything, and it produces a Boolean. Booleans are either true or false. Now let's recall the address structure that we defined previously. This again is going to define four useful functions for us to use. We can already see one in action, which is the make address function. Make address has a signature that takes in a number and a string and produces an address. As we saw previously, the constructor function always starts with make dash and always produces an instance of the structure that we've defined. And it takes in one argument for each of the fields of the structure. Here, the street number and the street name. We then have two accessors, which access the two fields of the structure. Of course, these two produce the kind of data that we put in, so there's a correspondence between the two inputs to make address and the two outputs from the address number and address street function. And of course, the fact that there are two functions here corresponds to the fact that there's two inputs to make address. Finally, we have address question mark, which tells us whether something is an address. And it will again have a similar signature to what we had before. It takes in anything at all and produces a Boolean.